I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are continuing the conversation of can you truly believe? Can you truly believe that Yahweh, the Most High Power, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator and destroyer, has chosen to have a relationship with the nation of Israel? That everything that occurs upon the earth is done for the sons and daughters of the Most High Power, Yahweh for the people, the family, and the nation of Israel. The mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. The Father walked amongst us. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 13. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. So not only the Father's mercy and forgiveness, but the Father himself. Now remember, this is our forefather, King David. And in the book of Psalms, chapter 22, verses 12 to 18, he spoke the prophecy as Yahawashai, being here on earth. He spoke the prophecy as Yahawashai, here on earth. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 4. But the Most High Power, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. He loved us so much that he sent the physical manifestation of Yahweh, which is the Father on earth. The book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 25. This is Yahweh speaking. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. When the Father came down on the top of the mount, when we were in the wilderness, we were so afraid that we said, Moses, you go up there and speak to him. We don't want to say anything lest we die. And in the flesh, it really is a bit much to believe that the creator of all things would come and speak to us directly. It is a bit much in this flesh. So when the father showed his glory in that way, it was hard for us to comprehend it. But when he comes to us face to face as one of us standing before us, showing great signs and miracles, it's a little easier to comprehend. Verse 26, At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came out from the Most High Power. So at the time of the revelation, that the Father was speaking directly unto us, Yahweh Shai saying, At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loveth you. Yahweh, he exists, comes in the name of Bahashem, he delivers Yahweh Shai. When we can comprehend this, when we can comprehend this, the book of St. Mark, chapter 1, verse 14. Now, after that John was put in prison, Yahweh came into Galilee preaching the gospel, the good news of the kingdom of the Most High Power, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High Power is at hand. It's right here in front of you. Repent ye and believe the gospel, believe the good news. Believe that the Father loves us so much that he would come himself to bring us back home. The kingdom of the Most High Power is at hand. 
the book of St. Mark, chapter 5, verse 35. While he yet spake, this is Yahawashai, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? Verse 36, as soon as Yahawashai heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Be not afraid. All things are possible with and through the Father. And we, as his sons and daughters, can ask of the Father. And he can grant, because he is the almighty power. Be not afraid. Only believe. Be not afraid of what we see in this world. Be not afraid of death. Be not afraid of the enemy. Be not afraid while we're in this last captivity. Yes, we must use wisdom. Be not afraid, only believe. One of the things that has put the greatest distance between us and the Father is our unbelief. Our unbelief in the contract that he made with us. A holy contract in the covenant, sacred and rare. Sure, he saved us from Egypt, but he brought us out here to die. Sure, we've got this food from heaven, but for how long? Oh my goodness, we don't have any water, we're going to die. Oh my goodness, these other nations are coming against us, we're going to die. When he made a contract with us. I mean, if you think about it, this is why he beat us over the head with this last enemy, with the devil, the rulers of this last wicked kingdom. The rulers of this last wicked kingdom have broken every single contract they have made with the Israelites. Every treaty, every contract, every agreement. The Father showing us what it looks like when a contract is broken. And although the Father was mad at us for a little while, and he had a right to be, yet he made a new contract with us, a new covenant. And all we have to do is believe believe in him and his mercy and his love and his choice his choice is the nation of israel and this flesh fights and yes the spirit of satan comes down and puts that doubt into our flesh a little bit of doubt it is a battle here on earth it is a battle but that's what it's like in this flesh this flesh doubts and this is why we must be dead to the flesh. Even for myself, I pray to be worthy to go home. But in the flesh from time to time, you know, the thought will come, what if the Father grants me eternal life? What if I mess up at some point <laughs> in the presence of the Most High Power? What if I mess up? Now, it's written that the Father will write his laws upon our hearts. We'll have that righteous spirit in us, but in this flesh, Sure, that fear will show up. I'll mess up in front of the Most High Power. But through Yahweh Shai, the Father says, be not afraid, only believe. So our job is to believe that the Father loves us this much. The book of St. Mark, chapter 9, verse 23, Yahweh Shai said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Can you truly believe that this is the type of relationship that is available to us as the nation of Israel? That he has truly chosen us. I mean, if you want to talk about a holy shield of wisdom, this right here, the most high power manifest in the flesh for the nation of Israel to bring us home. No one can tell you anything when you have this holy shield of wisdom raised up. Yeah, he came to my ancestors. He's looking after my nation. There's a kingdom promised unto me, world without end. There's nothing you can say to me or do to me as long as I'm turned unto my father in truth and in sincerity because I am a son. I am a daughter of the most high power. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. 
the book of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verse 28. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Yahushai saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Again, this is the Father speaking directly. Why do you think, why do you think there are so many accounts of Yahushai on the earth? Why do you think there's so many records of Yahushai on the earth in the Bible? So that every word that was said unto us from the Father could be recorded. So that when we read a scripture like this, we understand that the Father is saying, Believe ye that I am able to do this. I brought you out of Egypt. I destroyed a powerful nation for you. I ran all your enemies out from before you. I gave you a promised land that I said I would do. I have protected you. You have watched amazing miracles and signs and wonders. And yet you want to turn away. You want to trust in men. You want to trust in idols. You want to trust in yourselves. Believe ye that I am able to do this. Whatever it is we need. Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. Returning to the book of St. Mark, chapter 9, and now verse 24. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Help my unbelief. I'm in this flesh. Help me with my unbelief, please. Please. Help me with my unbelief. Because at the core of it, this is our struggle. This is our struggle. This is why so much idol worship and spiritual fornication. We can't believe that the creator of everything has chosen us. He has shown us so many signs and so many miracles and so many wonders and still in this flesh. Help thou mine unbelief. And that's what this word is for. And that's what the Holy Spirit is for. And that's what the brothers are for. The modern day prophets. The brothers who are out on the street at camp. The brothers who are given classes. The brothers who are online speaking this word in truth and in sincerity. We are the only family Yahweh has known upon the earth. The only one. The book of Psalms, chapter 116, verse 10. I believed, therefore have I spoken. I believed, therefore have I spoken. This is what we do today. We believe. Therefore, we speak. Can you truly believe? The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 10. Ye, Israel, are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no power formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am Yahweh, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared, and have saved, and I have showed, when there was no strange power among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, that I am the Most High Power. We are his witnesses. Our forefathers and foremothers coming out of Egypt, all the miracles in the wilderness when we were turned unto the father in truth and in sincerity he protected our land he protected our kingdom and then he came down here then he came down here through Yahweh that's why there are so many written accounts of him and when this word is spoken today we are giving witness to the father's love for the nation of Israel 
So in the spirit, we started these chapters on can you truly believe, speaking about uh, our forefather Abraham and how the father says that Abraham was his friend and his friend forever. And how Yahweh spoke unto our forefather Moses face to face as a friend. The book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Verse 14. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Ye, the nation of Israel, are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. So let's look at who's speaking here. Verse 15, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So let's look at verse 15 again. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. So who has called us, the nation of Israel, servants? The last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 44, verse 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant. O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. The Father has called us, the nation of Israel, his servant. His servant. Verse 22. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. That is love. So when we look at St. John chapter 15, verse 15, matter of fact, let's go back. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. So the father called us his servants. And here on earth, he has called us his friends. If we do what pleases him. Can you truly believe the relationship that's available to the nation of Israel from the father? Now, again, don't think of friends in the fleshly carnal sense. Think of it as the most high power out of everything he has created has chosen a family on the earth and says, that's mine. That's my inheritance. Those are my riches and my jewels there. I'm going to love them, nurture them, care for them. I'm going to show respect unto them. They are mine. And I am theirs. This is the gospel. <laughs> this is the good news. This is your holy shield of wisdom. You can hold this up against any attack, any attack that can come to you from this world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time. They can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want to you. If you're an Israelite, you are the true son and daughter of the most high power who came down here and spoke to us face to face and deals with us directly. If you can hear this, please do. All praise and glory to the name of the one true living most high power, Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest and Brother, Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh. 
Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.